team is deep yeah. 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 yeah! We're giving confidence, Sydney, sweetie, energy. <laughs> Wait, everyone look cute. Welcome to the girls room. The girls room. I decided I want to start a new series on my channel where I have my besties over and we're all going to get glam together because we're going to the poppy event and we were like, why not Obvious. match why in the poppy not? clubs? Can you imagine if this was sponsored? That'd be amazing. You know the words to the song. Sing along. Show us your bags. Mine's drunk elephant. Mine is these. <laughs> Wait, this is really nice. Do I need that? Yeah, you do. Hers is so organized and mine is like, I put Mine's messy 45 top. million products in here. Yeah. It's What's, from Amazon. Aww. It comes with three bags. Linked in her storefront. I, for the first time today, bought something off TikTok shop. I just feel like it's downhill from here. You know what I What'd mean? What'd you buy? I bought a mini vacuum. <laughs> Okay, period. I don't, actually don't really know what compelled me, but it was my first purchase that I've ever bought. But at least you didn't buy the ramen. I didn't <laughs> buy the ramen. Or the pickle. Could be worse, yes. <laughs> the boy pickle kit is next. That looks so good. Oh my god, try it. Use it. No, like your skin is just so like. Your skin is like butter. It's Guys, just so clear. No, it really is not. I do have some concealer on. NARS is literally my favorite foundation ever. What's your guys' favorite? The House Labs. Have I've heard tried? that's good. Mm -hmm. what? Cheers. What? Wait, Wait, which shade is yours? Let's see. Mine is not my shade. <laughs> I always look terrible. What's the kicker with the house lap? Like, why are people so obsessed with it? I don't know. It's just dewy and it's smooth. It's really good coverage, too. It's like a full coverage. It's made full by Full coverage, mother. girl. This is my full coverage, the NARS Radiant. You're a NARS girl. I'm obsessed. You're like their target demographic. Am I? Orgasm name. I was gonna say, um, <laughs> is it because you're like horny? Or <laughs> Nars. My favorite morning. shade is deep throat. I love the orgasmic blush. Yeah, they found there's a candle that I was gifted by the Skinny Confidentials brand. It's called Woo More Play. And they actually have great products. Like, I love their wipes and stuff. Long story short, they sent me this candle that says, Eat me out for once. <laughs> And you know what? Unfortunately, I have yet to use it. But it's supposed to be an experience that you can enjoy in the bedroom if you'd like. Is it bad to put the drunk elephant drops on after foundation? Probably, right? <laughs> you could use it as a highlight. highlighter. Highlighter. <laughs> I also really like the House Labs concealer, also made by Mother. If you, there was one makeup brand that you couldn't live without, what would it be? I really like Hourglass. I feel like every product I ever have by them never misses. Really? Love Hourglass and I like their brushes. Mine would be Kosas. I honestly think mine would be NARS. Okay, what do you think is an overrated makeup product, like viral makeup product? Anything Rare Beauty. Anything? As a believer, I have to give that response. <laughs> With Bieber fever. Oh, true. For 15 I've, years. I've got it too. I've got I mean, that. we've all got it. Do you think Road is worth the hype? Yes. I actually just ordered Road yesterday with my own money. I'm thinking of getting the face wash. What about you? What do you think is overrated? Part of me wants to say like the Shape Tape Concealer or the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wands. I hated them because they always explode. Yeah, the and packaging. They, the packaging is not ideal. It just didn't blend out right. I just didn't like oh, it. Oh my God. Okay. Kylie. Cosmetics has really stepped it up. The lip liners, eat the lip butters, sir. Your makeup looks so good. I'm sick. I'm not what sick the stomach. fuck? Well, how does your skin look? Wait, like guys, that? thank you. It's literally just because the reflection. No, it's really not. Thank you. No, it's really not. You I actually really it. do look like that. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. You know, like contouring my alpha alpha here. Like you guys, <laughs> seriously. Normalize <laughs> contouring your, your alpha. <laughs> Normalize Normalize uh, having an alpha. Okay. My least favorite part about my makeup routine is that I conceal my lips with foundation before I do my lip liner. So like when I'm doing my makeup, oh. they're, they have makeup all over them. Mm -hmm. So I hate the way it looks like in video. I really need to get that. I've never tried And I've also, I, try it. I also want to try the Dibs Beauty Stick. Do you have that? Do you like it? <laughs> Love. Love? <gasps> Bomb. Wait, is the matte blush the like bright pink one? Yes. <gasps> I it? need that. Whoa. Why have I never seen so this product smooth, like before? butter. Bro, you gotta sticks. follow Emily Kaiser. <laughs> Who are your favorite TikTokers currently? Mine would be Leah's Cucina. My comfort creators, and it's always been this way probably for 10 years, are like um, Italian housewives. Mm. So she just like makes that her daughter lunch. Oh, and I love that. it's so comforting. Okay, who else? Uh, Gwen McMullen. Who's she's that? so funny. TK Juicy Coles, Keaton Miller. Oh really, you are oh, my biggest so fan. Good. Like I can always count on an Emily June comment, which I love. Like that is so kind. Mm. Okay, I'm going with the dips. That's about it. It's so smooth, right? It's so smooth, it's you crazy. Right on your face are you sure? Yeah. Uh, some people are like- To get the full effect. Weird about it. Oh, oh, 
it's like, yeah. I mean, this is like the Dior. So mm -hmm. my favorite TikTokers are obviously Emily Kaiser. I like her friend Avery too. Mm -hmm. And then I really have been obsessed with how I was binging her last night. Danielle the Caviar Girl. Love. Obsessed. Do you know who I'm talking about? Nope. Are you kidding? Keegan, what? I don't know anyone. Nat will always bring up influencers and I just never know what is happening. And I'm not saying that like, <laughs> like in a way where I'm like, I just don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I really you. don't like, I, I don't know if it's just like the type of content I consume or what. I know celebrities, I just don't know. Yeah. So what are you watching on TikTok? I just literally go to my free page and I never watch like following really, unless it randomly goes to my free page. Literally the only person I can think of is like Alex Earl or like Molly May, which Molly May is from like Love Island UK. I is love Is that the her. blonde? Yeah, with Tommy. So like there's like random ones like that, but I don't, like I don't keep up with anyone on TikTok, which is kind of random, I don't know. Oh, you know who I'm obsessed with right now is the girl, her name's Tiana. She's dating a Bengals player. Yeah. Oh, oh she's yeah, such yeah. a fucking seen, good TikToker. I love her. her. Oh wait, no, I know who my favorite right now is. Hallie ba Batch. Yes. Wait, she, how do you say her last name? She's the funniest. I just wait, discovered her. Wait, and wait, I think she's is she in New York? Yeah. yeah. Like she like goes out and like talks about like dates. I just like her content because I feel like she's funny. I also like Hannah Burner. You know what I'm obsessed with right now? Her name's Style with Silco. Do you know who that is? Yes, I've seen her. She, she's really cute. I was recommended her by a friend and I really like her. Her style gives Devin Lee Carlson vibes, but in New York. Can I try your blush? <laughs> uh, it wasn't because of my rare beauty comment. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah, a no, you're actually, I, you can get right. like, yeah, I'm cropping that yeah, out. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> Normalize I, having an opinion. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? And my thing this year was like, it doesn't have to be that serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. Number one, be a better yapper and leave my mark on people. So like when I talk to anybody, whether it's in like the deli or at an event, I want to leave my mark and I want to be able to hold a conversation. I love that. I feel like you really have already done that. Thank you. I want to become a TikTok star. Follow. Already. Follow her, y'all. on the way. Guys, we're all, I'm manifesting a million on TikTok say, for all of us. If, if Emily wasn't here though, I really would say like, your TikTok is so funny and hysterical. Thank you, And dear. I do think you need more recognition. Then I have another one, which I can't read out loud. It's Learn good. more about wines and cheeses. <laughs> Radiate Sydney Sweeney energy. Like the underlying to that is I want to be confident, a little sus, but like gorgeous. Maybe like a home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I didn't want to say it. Not actually, but you know, just like super free. You want to give off that energy. Yeah, like, I get what you're saying. And then enter the sports world. Yay! Oh, yeah. and you totally. And I want to go to Miami. You're very set up for that. <laughs> Going go to, to Miami as a resolution. As a resolution. <laughs> other wellness things but no one cares about that true mine was to be more of like myself online i feel like my personality in real life versus how i am online is not necessarily the same wait can i be so honest for a second yeah no i would rather i want you to be Keaton, if i could like pick which content i would want you to post Oh I would be like, please never post anything aesthetic or like hot girl again. Like you are so funny and like fun and nice. And like you have so much personality that I feel like I don't see as much of because like I'm not watching people's YouTube as much. And yeah. you could totally shine with your personality on TikTok. That's such an underrated thing. Cause I feel like people are like, oh, she's just like a hot influencer. But like you are so cool. You're so funny. You have so much to offer. That okay, part this is, is the best that part is missing ever. from TikTok. I also think it's missing from my YouTube. I am that way in some Like you're not aspect. silly goofy on your shit, but you're silly goofy in, in real, real life, life. Which like, I struggle with too sometimes. Like I feel like I am a huge yapper, obviously. Yeah. Like, I can never shut up. I'm also like, I think I'm a little bit more unhinged. Yeah, you are. In real life than like online. Yes, that's my goal. Okay. I have so many. Definitely grow on TikTok. I'd love to hit the Millie Club. Show more of my personality. Do a lot more hosting gigs. So no one wants to learn more about wines and cheeses? No, like play more pickleball. I want to do that. I kind of want to start a pickleball league. I'm so like work focused right now. It's hard to even think about a man, but I would love to date a man. I'd love to text someone. Yeah, I'd love to like feel something. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> The candles no, at the I'm literally the Samantha Jones of this group. <laughs> I also 
I love can't Patrick step Ta. into that. Oh my god, love Patrick Ta. I wonder how much he charges for glam. Let's guess. That's a great question. Oh my god. Probably Let's so guess much. the price of glamours. What do you think Mary Phillips is? 2K. No, really? Maybe. Like a normal rate for like huge celebrity is what? Five to seven hundred? Honestly, I think it's not as much as you'd expect. But what about like makeup by Mario? Like what's he charging Kim? He's probably on well, retainer. he's on retainer for sure. This is probably like a hundred K. You guys watch Salt Lake City? Yeah, Lisa Barlow. And she's like, I, have I play 60, 60 like, I have k for 60K. glam. I have them in Saint Tropez. I have glam on retainer. Hey, okay, I have like a cheesy exercise for us. We'll start with whoever wants, but you have to say your favorite thing about each person Aww, and a nice thing about yourself. That's so kind. I like actually can't think of something for myself, but I can think of something for both of you. I feel like every time I'm around you, TK, you are so like nice with your words. And I'm a words of affirmation person. Me too. Okay, so that's why. Like, guys, I'm gonna grab But it. you're like you're so. You better. You're <laughs> no like literally now. Right now. Yeah, you're just so good with your words. Hey, and, thank you. But not in a way where like I feel like they're not meaningful. Like I feel like you know what I mean. Like you don't blowing just, smoke. Yes, yeah. you say things like and thank you really you. mean them and. I also feel like you really value like relationships in your life. I do. And, like, character and stuff. And that's like very important. Thank you. I've never been told specifically that like good with your words. So I appreciate yeah. that because I feel like I'm trying to cut out filler words currently. So I've been trying to be more thoughtful with my words. So that means a lot. Yeah, I think you, you, I think you really are. I feel like you're good at words of F too, which makes sense. I like receiving we're, and giving words yeah, of Yeah, we're both words of affirmation girlies. What are you love language wise? I want to be touched. <laughs> We know. Y'all thought I wanted to be touched. It's really her. <laughs> I know. I was projecting. Sure. I would say words of affirmation and... You're good at giving words of aff. Really? Yeah, you text me like every day. You're like, bitch, I miss you. I'm like, I'm like I bitch, love you. I love you. Yeah. You're like a very supportive friend. Like, I feel like you're actually happy for people when they're successful yeah. and when they do Aww. well. Which is like such a nice quality to have. I like that. I don't have to disclaim anything about you. You can literally come to like the dirtiest, nastiest, <laughs> like campsite bar and it's a vibe and you make it so fun or i can bring you to like the most bougie thing and you'll like still be just as fun and i don't know like that's what i love about you i feel like i can bring Aww. you anywhere which you i wouldn't expect about you that's what i was gonna say for her was that i feel like you make everyone feel very comfortable yes like and in included yeah. yeah included and comfortable which is, which so is nice. really nice and you're extremely violently self-aware and <laughs> you're really good at not talking shit Keaton, i feel like you're really good at including people too maybe it's because i've known you for so long but you've always been so welcoming like i feel like i cannot see you for years and years or like months and months yeah. and you like once i see you i'm like oh Thank God Keaton's here because you make me feel Aww. so comfortable. And I feel like you give that vibe to everyone. Which you're I think is a misconception hot. because you're yeah. so fucking hot. That oh, people are wow. like, oh, she's probably hot and mean. But you're not. She's probably, <laughs> she's hot, probably hot, hot. Okay, your next Instagram that post. Can you so... make the caption? Quote, yes, she's, she's probably, probably hot, hot and mean. mean. Wait, I actually will. Okay, I'll go next. Keaton, I think that you are a solid woman. Like, you know yourself oh and you have God. a strong set of value mm -hmm. values and morals that is that so is true so hard to Retweet. come by like, it's oh insane God. how fucking confident and cool and like not weird you are about not drinking yeah like, you don't give a fuck true. you're but like, you never made it weird you like it's admirable you, yes you just, you you're a solid person you. I feel like I've known you since my childhood. Like, Same. <laughs> you are so fun. You are such a hard worker. Like nobody's working like you in Los Angeles. I have a joke where I'm like, no one in the city works. No, TK's working. <laughs> so I have so much respect for your work ethic. I feel like you're actually somebody that has balance in life because you're gonna be working your ass off, but you're also gonna come out even if you're tired, even if you had a long day and you're gonna make it the best time ever. Thank and you. And you're gonna be positive too. Yes. You're not gonna be like, I'm so uh, tired, yeah, I work like, all day. Yeah. yeah. Like you I kinda did that today, actually so. No, no you didn't, didn't. you didn't. Oh my god, thank you. Important I feel like that's you. something I struggle with. So thanks. You know certain friends where it's like you make me feel thirteen. Like there are some <laughs> friends where I'm just like Ugh. Like, I'm healing your inner child. Yes, like I just love you. Like I wish you were around the whole time. Normalize witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> it says romance. Why the fuck can you carry around that and I can't carry around my candle? <laughs> you carry that around. <laughs> I should do a what's in my purse and like not acknowledge it. Yeah. Y'all didn't say your favorite thing about yourself. I do know about myself that I'm like a pretty like strong person in a way of like I don't really like change my morals or mm -hmm. I don't change who I am like around other people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I know that about myself. I would say that's like something I myself. How do you think you got good at that? Honestly, I just feel like growing up, like those things were like instilled in me. And also growing up, my- Does your mom drink? No. Whenever I talk about like why I don't drink or whatever, 
I didn't grow up in an environment where anyone drinks. So it's never like, oh, we would be having dinner and people would be having wine. Like, yeah. we don't even have wine. Like, there's just nothing there. I, I love that. Emily, do you want to go? I think I have a really strong work ethic. I agree. And I have never been afraid to, like, experiment. I've hopped around. I've tried new things. And I never took the easy way, like, to anything that I've I've done. Like, I don't think that any job is below me. One thing I wanted to add on to my favorite things about you, honestly, Keaton is very similar, but you're, like, on X Games mode. I've never seen someone with, like, more diverse friends. You are friends with, like, so many different types of people, which is so rare. I feel like people normally only hang out with people that are like them. And you have so many different crews with different aesthetics and like mm -hmm. vibes and jobs and like personalities and that's really cool. I feel like you're the same. Well, thank you, but I think you're- And you do you a do good a job, job at like making time. You're never with the same group of people like two days in a row, I feel yeah. like. Like you're always like making well, time. Try. I need to get better job. at saying no. We're giving confident Sydney Sweeney energy in 2024 and we're all taking the low road. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite thing about myself is probably my lips. <laughs> yeah, what if I just for real said that? God, this is really hard. I mean, I really like making people laugh. I don't know how to make this not sound weird. Basically, one of my family friends, he's like big business guy and he wanted to give me advice before I went to LA. One of the things he told me is like, whatever room you walk into and whoever you meet, you need to remember to have a high level of integrity. And I was like, what exactly does that mean? And he was like, your yeses should mean yes, your no should be mean no. What you're saying shouldn't be bullshit. Mm -hmm. You should say exactly how you feel, whether it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I try to do that. Because I am a words of bath person, I think I am a pretty good communicator. Yeah. Even if I don't agree, I'm like, ah, I don't know how I feel about that. You can still be polite with like disagreeing, mm -hmm. which I've tried to be good at, but like, I guess what I'm saying is what I mean. Normal, Do you most feel like the time. you have sometimes, because I'm the exact same way, I also think maybe it's the words of affirmation thing. Yeah. But do you feel like sometimes you have a hard time making decisions because you know yes. when you make that decision, like I know when I make a decision, I know what like, I want to say. Yes yeah. or it is a no. And I will not go back on it. I just feel like I'm straight up with yes. what I yes. what I want. Which is rare. As you should but be. But like with which I didn't realize was how rare that is in LA. Anyway, we love y'all so much. Thanks, girls, for joining the girls' room. Thanks for, thanks for having us. I hope us. you enjoyed being a fly on the wall. This made getting ready so much more fun. This was so me. fun. I also feel like I'm gonna put this on when I'm doing my makeup. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, it's like the perfect video to get ready to. And please comment down below your favorite makeup product and follow everyone. Where can they follow you guys? Keaton Milburn on TikTok and Instagram. Emily June, Juna's in the month, five he's at the end on TikTok. I hate the Gen Z heart. <laughs> Love you guys! Bye! Bye.